הסימוקים ששרו אותה במים כדי לעשות יין, וכתחילה יש להחמיר לשרותם גמר יין מעט לעת. When making wine, so he says if you took raisins and you put them in water, and now the water, of course, the water now, uh, the water now took the, the, the taste of the, of the raisins and it tastes now like wine. The halakha is that you have to wait, although even though it already has the color and has some kind of taste, a person should wait three days minimum for the yayin to be kolet, so it should be considered, fully considered wine, and therefore then you could say, a geffen on that wine, and you could say, of course, ala geffen at the end after you finish drinking it. This is again, if it was kolet for three days. However, if it was less than that, it brings down the chatechila, a person shouldn't rely on that. And therefore, if a person has other wines, better not to use such wine. However, if that's all he has, if all he has is regular uh, wine, this is the one that he has that was not sitting more than three days. It was less than three days in the, in the raisins. He says, as long as it tastes like wine, and of course it looks like wine, in such a case, a person could be somech on it. However, he brings down, this is only, even though we're being mekel, that a person could use it. This is only if you took out the raisins. If the raisins are still inside the wine, he says, in that case, this is not considered yet yain, and therefore a person has to first take out the raisins, pull out everything from it, and then to leave it as just a mashke, so it's just considered a drink, and then a person can make a geffen, and all a geffen at times.